Jojo Siwa got drunk at Disney World, went on a bit of a karma fueled rampage, filmed it all, put it online, and it's got everyone saying, huh? And it's come at the tail end of a whirlwind of wild moves and wild news to do with Jojo Siwa, so let's run down all of it on Scroll Deep, the show that keeps up with this kind of internet nonsense, so you don't have to. Disney World, the happiest place on earth. One man's dream for a utopia of family-friendly fun in the Florida sun. And now the place where Jojo Siwa got drunk and danced at people wearing many hats. You see, Jojo Siwa turned 21 on May 19th and she decided to celebrate by going to Epcot. Experimental prototype community of tomorrow is genuinely what that stands for. She went to Epcot and decided to drink around the world because as you may know at Epcot, it's divided into like sections to do with countries. There's like a little like Mexico section, I think. There's a, there's a British section, we can get a pint in it. And so you can drink around the world and get really drunk. And she'd already revealed she was gonna do this on Jimmy Fallon. You know when you turn 21 and you have to tell Jimmy Fallon what you're gonna do? You know when you have a normal life? Yeah, so I'm gonna be drinking around the world at Epcot. <laughs> In one of the many, many drunk things she posted online on the day, she filmed herself. She said, quote, it's my 21st birthday. I'm drunk as fudge right now. I got punched in the eye. It was really bad, but I'm okay. This kind of got glossed over. Did we ever find out who punched her? Who punched Jojo Siwa? That seems like a story. She then went on a bit of a drunk rampage around Epcot, singing her lyrics at people, trying the official karma filter on people, doing this thing that was actually quite painful where she would go up to people and sing the first line of, of a lyric from Karma and then try and get them to finish it and no one knew any of the lyrics to Karma. I had a wish, wish, wish I would have never effed around. Yeah, we know it. All the while dressed, uh, well, she, she was kind of dressed like every Paw Patrol character kind of combined, <laughs> but she had them Tims on. Oh, that's my ex's name. Oh. Well, happy birthday, Kylie. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Thank you so much. And the video has naturally got a lot of reaction. People really roasting her. One person said, quote, If someone told me Jojo Siwa got drunk at Disney World and forced people to sing her lyrics, I'd believe them. Even without seeing this, I'd believe them. Someone else said, They should keep drunk Jojo Siwa at Disney World as an attraction. Honestly, I agree. If she was just roaming around like one of the characters and you could get like an autograph from her, I would go to Disney World just for that. But people were also defending her. One person said, quote, if you all are gonna drag Jojo Siwa for being drunk at Epcot on her 21st birthday, please keep that same energy for the 726,191 groups of grown ass adults wearing corny ass matching shirts who are throwing back margs like they're rushing Greek life again because the kids aren't with them. Amen. Basically saying like, there's plenty of adults getting drunk at Epcot. Someone else said, quote, y'all got parents of cheer teams in the fountains. A sentence that is so American, I cannot even begin to decipher it. But we're gonna hate on Jojo Jojo Siwa for being loud and drunk in Epcot? Strange take. It's her 21st birthday. We've all had a messy afternoon in World Showcase. Not me. I went when I was 20. Precisely the wrong age to go. I was old enough to drink in my own country, but not legally in that country, so it just was fine. <laughs> there was also a few people who said, hey, maybe she's kind of faking, maybe she's playing it up for the cameras, I guess her own camera, because it does seem at the moment that she's been trying very aggressively for this big, sort of more grown-up rebrand. She's basically trying to do the thing Miley Cyrus did, where Miley Cyrus was like, I'm no longer like a TV kid star, now I'm shocking, and now I'm doing twerking, and I'm doing alcohol and stuff. She is my number one idol. I was like, I want to do what she did with bangers. The two big differences between her and Miley. One, Miley kind of pulled it off by really committing to the bit. Cause you know, Jojo's trying to be grown up, but she's still like at Disney World <laughs> wearing sparkles. And the second more unfortunate point is that all the music Miley made went to like number one. And Karma, well, we'll get to it, but Karma has not, you know, done well. But there's many other people who are just saying, this is a 21 year old enjoying her birthday. Let her live. As Steve Martin famously said, I remember my first beer. This is honestly probably Jojo's first beer. Jojo Siwa has had probably the strangest life and strangest childhood and adolescence a person can physically have. This girl is never not on. If she's not physically working on a stage or something, she's posting one billion Snapchats a day. She's never not being filmed. This is probably the one time she's ever like relaxed a bit. So it makes sense that she would lose her sweet mind. But that's what you do on your 21st birthday or in the UK, uh, 12th birthday. I will say she has made noises recently hinting that previously she has done illegal. I am eating Jojo Siwa ice cream with a Jojo Siwa spoon. Mm. Footage of uh -huh. my first time being high. 
Stop. <laughs> I took an edible. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. And you know, and if that's true, of course, she should be imprisoned. <laughs> and we are going to call the police on her. Me calling the London Metropolitan Police to report Jojo Siwa. <laughs> By the way, I don't want to hate to. I, I like Jojo Siwa. I genuinely, well, I don't know her, but she seems like a, a relatively benign figure. She makes mistakes, but like compared to most celebrities, she's basically an angel. You know what I mean? Like compare her to your average like Twitch streamer and she's like the Pope or something. If the Pope was like way more chill. <laughs> but all of this Disney stuff has come at the tail end of a bit of a whirlwind year where there's just been one thing after another. Obviously the Karma dance, which is just so nuts. Every time I see her do the dance, I'm like, I forgot quite how wild the dance was. And also I do think every time she does the dance, she does it even more manically. She, lo she loves doing this, it's like head banging. So, oh, I'm getting old, I can't do that. I can't judge a sewer dance like I used to. So much so that SNL, in their, their split second reaction time, they had a, a full parody of Jojo Siwa, a mere seven months or whatever after the song came out, where Chloe Feynman, I'm pretty sure it's Feynman, although I always read it as Finneman. She dressed up as Jojo Siwa, did a whole parody. Jojo said she liked it, she took it well. There was also some backlash when Jojo Siwa said she wanted to create a new genre called gay pop, which obviously a lot of people were very annoyed about, and mainly all the people who've been doing that forever. I wanted to start a new genre of music, and they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, called gay pop. When she was asked exactly what it meant, she just said it was a new genre of music. And she immediately got backlash from people like Tegan and Sarah, Charlie XCX posted a video dancing along to Karma and sort of making fun of it. The caption said, gay pop, out magazine, uh, had a whole list of examples of gay pop that came before Jojo. I mean, like, that feels like overkill. It's like, we get it out, magazine. Like, come on, like, you don't actually have to make a list. But Jojo went on to say that she wanted to uh, bring more attention to gay pop. She said, quote, I'm not the creator, I'm not the president, but I might be the CEO or the CMO, so, uh, the chief mog officer because she's been mogging on all these other gay pop people. Anyway, we teased it earlier. How well did Karma actually perform in the charts? Because you've got to remember all this malarkey, it was all just to promote this song. You know what I mean? All these viral videos, all this razzmatazz, all these crazy outfits, it was to get people to stream her song. I'll be honest, didn't work that well. You know, there was all this kind of uh, backlash because it turned out that the song Karma was not an original song that Jojo wrote, contrary to what she was saying originally. Someone called Brit Smith actually had a version of the song in 2012. That version of the song, the Brit Smith version, went to number one on Billboard's electronic digital charts, while Jojo Siwa's version failed to even reach the Hot 100. Now, I will say this. Billboard charts, much like the New York Times book charts, are just a labyrinth of a million different subcategories. So I can't tell you whether it's better to be on that chart than the other, you know what I mean? Like, you can be number one in some way, but basically it didn't crack into the mainstream charts, which is, you know, after all that trouble is a, is a little bit of a shame. But at the same time, it's not like she's broke. She played to a crowd of over 50,000 people at the Miami Beach Pride Festival back in April. She's gonna play Mighty Hoopla in London next month, which means she's gonna be in town. If Jojo C wants to come in and be on Scroll Deep, hashtag C... Siwa, scroll Siwa. We need something clean. How about Skarma uh, Diwa? Hashtag Skarma Diwa. Get it trending worldwide, everyone. Skarma Diwa. And she'll see it and she'll know immediately. She'll be like, that's about me. I think she'd be better off sticking with who she is, which is one of the most unique human beings there's ever been, rather than trying to be something you're not. And that's always the lesson here at Scroll Deep. A, B, C. Always be yourself. And on that note, <laughs> Make sure to follow if you haven't already for the latest online nonsense updates from Scroll Deep. And like the episode if you've made it this far. At least you can do. Jesus. I'll be back next time with a whole episode. Till then. Goodbye. Shouldn't have been Scrojo D word. Oh. I think it's so much cleaner for it to be Scrama D word. <laughs>